third third step is simply question item check okay. it identifies all simple question item relevant for the current system they will be called by the software update manager tool to ensure that the system is in consistent state procedure execute slash sdf rc start check in sa38 t code update the simplification item catalog we can run in two modes in online mode it displayed the results immediately after the check is finished as a background job if it takes long running time we can choose as a background job run the checks to get the and power view power all simplification items and then check the system consistency this report returns a list of relevant and irrelevant simplification items we recommend that you check every relevant simplification item for the impact it will have on your conversion project the results give four kind of return codes first one color is green the return code is zero it means the simplification item has no technical or other inconsistencies if the color is in yellow and return code is four it uh, gives warnings the messages provide important information about various topics such as changes to business functions or adoption that can be done either before or after the conversion when the color is red the return code is 7 these messages show skippable errors that indicate important changes for the affected simplification item the errors are no inconsistencies but you need to confirm that you have read and understand them next uh, the color is red and the return code is 8 or 12 these messages always indicate inconsistencies in the system these inconsistencies need to solve before the conversion next uh, we conduct the custom code analysis here we execute the report using transaction code sa38 it creates a zip file for analyze the data of the custom code thank you